Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me Paces back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing our five workshop creations video. It's been a little while since I've actually done one of these, but if you guys don't know what they are, essentially I'm gonna pick, pick, I'm gonna pick five workshop creations, obviously from the workshop, that aren't necessarily at the top of the workshop, they aren't necessarily at the bottom of the workshop, they are just creations that I like the look of and that I want to show off. So there are going to be a few planes, probably a boat or two, and maybe even a, a ground vehicle as well. We'll see. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check them out, shall we? Alrighty, so the first creation is actually this Dash 8 Q200, and this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, it has a Canadian Airways... Canadian Airlines? I don't know what they're actually called. Let me have a little look in the comments. In the description? It doesn't say. It doesn't say just yet anyway. I don't know. I don't know what it is, uh, but Canadian Air Express. It's a Canadian Airlines. No, what is it? All right, I didn't know which order the actual words went in, but it's Air Canada, right? So Air Canada Express, presumably. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump inside this thing, and we're going to go ahead and close the door. Wait, that's a seat. How do we throttle lever? No. <laughs> how do I close this door? Does anybody know how to close? How do... <laughs> eh? How do I close the door? How do I close the door? We're having issues. We're already having some issues. All right, whatever, it's fine. So uh, maybe we can do it from in here, actually. Uh, emergency door exit, we don't need to do that. Passenger door, there it goes, nice. You do it from the cockpit, interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up. We're gonna go ahead and take it for a fly and then we're gonna land it. Yeah, let's do this. Okie dokie, so engines are started. They're actually pretty easy to start. Essentially, you just turn on all the stuff up here, then you start the engines and then it's pretty much good to go. I don't know what that is. Uh, it doesn't say what that is. So yeah, I'm not sure what that does. Uh, we have our parking brake right here, presumably. P-K-R-B-R. Uh, I'm assuming that's parking brake. Uh, we have our throttles right here and we have our collectives. So if we press one, that'll throttle us up to full. And if we press three, that'll actually increase our collective which makes our propellers push us forwards. Excellent. Right, let's get ourselves over to the runway and then we'll take off and hopefully all will go well. Uh, okay, never mind. I can't turn that quick. Let's just go. Whee! There we go. We are in the sky. Excellent. Landing gear should be over here somewhere. There it is. Landing gear folds up into the wings and into the front of the plane. And we are flying. Excellent. So far, so good. You know, the one thing that I would actually like inside of here is actually uh, lights. I would like lights in here. There we go. We've done it. Uh, Seatbelts on. No smoking sign on. We can lock the wardrobe if we need to. Cockpit lock if we need to as well. And we are currently plummeting towards the ocean. Not a good thing, to be honest. Uh, we can switch control if we need to as well. That is obviously a thing that we can do. Uh, we have altitude hold. We have heading hold. Let's go ahead and whack that on. It stays at the altitude right. And our heading hold will actually, I guess, take us to the heading that we are on already. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn us around. We're going to fly back towards the uh, creative base and we are going to try and land there. So let's do it. Okie dokie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like we've got little to no your control. So uh, I don't have a rudder. All right, the rudder doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, nothing on there is actually on in terms of altitude hold or heading hold. I just don't seem to have a rudder. We don't have one. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. But anyway, we're going to go in for a landing. So, landing gear down. Flaps down. A little bit. I don't see where the uh, flaps thing is. There it is. 60 degrees, presumably. And, yeah, we could go in for a landing. Again, no flap. Uh, no rudder. So, we're going to have to go in with no rudder, which is incredible. I don't know why that's a thing, but sure. Uh, and we're going to land this thing. So, presumably, we just put it down on the ground. Collective off. And then, that's it. Again, no rudder. This is incredibly difficult. And a little bit annoying. But here we go. So, collective down. Oh, we did just sort of flop out the sky, but we are on the ground. Uh, park your brake on. Let's just go ahead and whack it on up there. And there we go. So, I don't know why we don't have a rudder. Uh, that seems pretty strange. <laughs> Considering we do have the foot pedals. So, it should work. But it's not working. So, there you go. So, we'll leave this right here. That's excellent. Let's go ahead and turn off uh, everything, actually. Hydraulic pumps. I don't seem to be able to turn off the engines. I have to do this, presumably. There we go. And that's excellent. That's actually pretty cool. So, let's have a little look around before we give up on this one. We have a wardrobe full of uh, safety equipment. We have a toilet, which is awesome. If we go backwards, we've got a bunch of seating. Uh, we actually have one in the middle, as if it's a bus, which is interesting. Uh, and then we've got all of these buttons above, which are just lights and presumably heat. I think. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and get outside. We have to open it up from inside of here, remember? 
We actually have a cargo door as well. I don't know where that is. Cargo door. We have an electrical door. And we also have an emergency exit door. Uh, there's, there's lots of stuff going on there. Um, but presumably this is the cargo door. Yes, it is. Nice. I don't know where the emergency exit door is. Presumably somewhere. I think it might be this one. And an electrical door. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's this thing right here. Excellent. Okay, cool. This thing's amazing. It looks good. It works. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next creation, shall we? Alright, our next creation is actually called the Helipack. Uh, I built something like this previously. Uh, mine didn't have an engine though, and it didn't really work too well. But this thing, I'm assuming, is going to work out fine. So we'll see. But uh, here we go. Up and down should be up and down. And we'll see if it works. Alright, ready? Let's go. Oh. Oh god. You have to keep the starter on. Okay. Interesting. So keep the engine starter on, and then we should be able to just fly it around. Okay, amazing. There we go. This is so weird. This is really strange. I like it, though. All right, well, I mean, there's not really too much to do with this one, honestly, but there is your control, there is roll, there is pitch, and, uh, yeah, it essentially just flies like a helicopter with a little motor. I just flew past a bird. Interesting. Uh, we don't know how much fuel we've got. <laughs> I guess that is one of the problems. And we also... I guess we don't know how much battery charge we have either, but... I don't know. <laughs> it works. I'm actually really, really pre like pleased with this. This is this is good. This is good. I like it. Maybe we could actually install some of these on ships and stuff, and then I don't know. We could do rescue missions with them. That would be kind of interesting. Maybe a seat could go on the back. In fact, I want to test that out. Can we put a seat on the back, and can we carry a person? I need to test it. We're doing it. All right. So maybe instead of a seat on the back, we can actually have a seat on both sides. Let's uh, let's do this on both sides. There we go. Whack that on there, whack it on there. Very good. Spawn it in. Hopefully that hasn't impacted it too much. Good. All right, I'm going to get some people now. And there they are. All right, excellent. So we're going to put these people on the sides. There's one. And here's two. This could be a legitimately legitimate rescue vehicle. I don't know whether it is, but let's see if we can actually lift up with two people on the sides and us in the middle. I think it might struggle. It's moving. So far, it is moving. If it manages to take off, that's when things get amazing. I don't think it'll be able to. Come on. Maybe I can wiggle it into the sky. Oh, we're off the ground by... No, there's no way we can actually lift up with this. this there's too many people. There's too much weight here. There's too much weight. But we tried. We definitely... Oh. We definitely tried. Okay, interesting. Well, anyway, this is the second vehicle. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Um, and now, we'll move on to the next one. Wait, wait! I actually jumped off, and it is sort of floating away with some people on it. <laughs> I, I know that that wouldn't work out, because there's no controller, but you know what? It's working. It's going for it. What happens if I jump onto it now? Now it works! Now that we're in the sky, we can fly it around normally. Okay, I'm glad we went back to this. Interesting. That's so weird, though. It is really weird. Okie dokie, so this is our next vehicle. Let me just check what it's called, because I've forgotten. I've scrolled down the page. It's called the Buffalo Protoc, or Potoc, which is interesting. Uh, this thing right here is actually really, really cool. I seen it on the, on the Stormworks Discord originally, uh, and I messaged the creator and was like, that's cool. Uh, and then eventually he actually messaged back and was like, it's on the workshop now, so I've downloaded it, and this is it. I actually really rate the way that it looks. Uh, it also comes with this, which is... So, a few of these, they're different jobs. This one is a container, so you can obviously pick up a container with it and carry it around on the back of the vehicle. Uh, this one is fuel, so you can actually carry around fuel. Presumably, you can also carry around water and stuff as well. It's just a tank for, for liquids. And then this one is custom, so you can actually put whatever you wanted on the back, uh, and that would work out. I guess what we'll do is we'll actually reverse up, we'll attach the fuel one on, and uh, we'll see how it works with that. So, let's get inside. No cuts in this. Let's go, get inside, close the door, uh, and figure it out. So, start. Okay, excellent. Uh, winch up, winch down, cabin L, lift. Release, connector, lift, gear up, gear down. Okay, so, gear down, presumably. Go backwards. I don't know whether it's got a handbrake somewhere. I can't see a handbrake. So that's a little bit of a problem. Ah. I don't know what that is. Is that reverse? 
All right, that is actually reverse. Interesting. So we're going to lower this down. Oh, not winch. Not winch. Uh, cabin lights. Okay, lift. Ah, that's what we needed. <laughs> Interesting. Go backwards. Let's go. Oh, I see. So the lift connects to the top of that. And then we click lift again. And it pulls it up. We roll backwards. And then it should lower itself down. I think. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And it just pops it on the top. That's excellent. Uh, we'll then obviously change gear. Uh, all right, we're ready to go. Let's go. Nice. Okay, it's very quiet. I'm not going to lie. This thing is quite quiet. But it works. It totally works. That's so cool. Looks a little bit like a hemp. Hemp. Oh, and you can tip over as well, just as a side note. It is possible to tip this thing over, but yeah, there's, there's pictures of it tipped. Uh, that's how I know that anyway. Um, okay, so with this being said, it drives around really nicely. It can lift fuel, which is pretty good. How about we actually try and take it up a hill now? Let's try and get it up one of these hills. Let's do it. Mountain climbing in a in a truck. Let's do it. Low range, presumably. Marking L. I don't actually know what that means. Marking L. Probably says something on the Steam page, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty steep hill. Let's go quite slowly into this. See if we can like ram it up, even though it's not meant to. There's a siren now going off. Interesting. Uh, okay, never mind. This isn't working. Go left a bit. Ramp it. Come on. No. It's not going to work out the way that I want it to. So we'll leave that alone. <laughs> we'll leave that alone for right now. Going up steep. What's that over there? Is that two dead people? Hang on. Is that the dead people from the helicopter? Hang on. Turn around. The turning, on, the turning circle on this thing is actually a little bit too big. Uh, but it is a truck, so it does make sense, I suppose. Well, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. We'll go do some off-roading over here. Dead people! They are dead! Interesting. Let's go up this. Oh, I broke it a bit. I broke it a bit. But I really want to ramp up here. I can't get up, can I? Oh! Oh, we're up! We're a mountain goat! It's working! Uh-oh. Yeah, this ain't the best for off-roading. It's not for off-roading, though, so... I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, this is actually a really, really cool truck. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this off while we can. Okay, amazing, and just leave it there. Release connector. Nice, let's drive out of here now if we can. Yeah, nice. With less weight, we can just drive away. Custom engine and everything, this is cool. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, Alright, drop that lift back down. And that's actually really sick, I like it. Yeah, this is actually really, really sick, but uh, we don't really need to do anything else with it. Obviously, you guys know we've got the other things that you can put on the back. It spawns with them, so if you guys want to use those, that's cool. Uh, let's have a little look inside of here. We have a welder, we have a rope, we have first aid kits, uh, a fire extinguisher, and a hose. On the other side, what do we have? Presumably the same. Oh, no, not the same. we got another rope. Uh, we have a play gun and a cable. Interesting. Very, very cool machine, though. Extremely cool machine. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. All right, so this might be a weird one. This might be a very weird one, but it counts as an amphibious vehicle because it's a duck. Uh, I went on the most recent page and this is what came up. So we have a duck. Uh, it has rope anchors all over it, which is uh, nice, I suppose. It's a nice touch. Uh, I don't know how you get on the top. I, I do see a handle right here, but I don't know if I can get up using this. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Good. Let's get inside. Excellent. Close this. We are inside the duck. Nice. Uh, right, so. Presumably, we press one. No, okay. I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. There seems to be a rogue wave coming through. <laughs> Luckily, we are in the correct vehicle for this. So that's all good. Apparently, I missed out on something. So open this up. I need to push this. Toggle pivot. That's where you drive it from. Interesting. Okay, hang on. So close this, open this. Let me get inside the head of the the duck. Toggle pivot. <laughs> what? Who builds these things? This is... Look at it! No, this might be the best creation I've ever seen. Press 6 to access tutorial. I don't want a tutorial. I'm not going to lie. I really don't want a tutorial. These alarms are very annoying, though. Just saying. 
The alarm is super duper annoying. Uh, we have an autopilot in this thing. Oh no, this is sick. This is cool, we're driving a duck. Driving a duck. All right, we're gonna try and jump it into the water. Yeah, we're gonna jump it into the water, it'll be fine. We have a bunch of equipment in here as well. Interesting, we have a sonar. Just in case we need one, for some reason. Uh, being a duck, obviously we need sonar. In the water we go. Excellent. And then... Okay, hang on. Do we, do, we, do we use this to drive on the water? Yeah. Use the arrow keys to drive in the water, and you use... Hang on, is it still A and D? It is. So it's up and down to drive forwards and backwards in the water. A and D still to turn, and then A and D on land to turn, and also W and S to, to drive forwards and backwards. But this works. The duck works, guys. This is weird, though. Very, very strange creation. And the fact that they put so much effort into it is actually incredible. Um, but yeah, I like it. What's that? What is that? Is that a bird? There's a bird in the water. Oh, it just took off and flew away. That's so sad. It's actually very sad. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, there's not much else to say about the duck, to be honest. But let's go ahead and try and beach it. So we'll drive it over to the beach. Obviously, it works on proper engines, which is nice. Uh, instead of just being electrical. Apparently, it is Norwegian. Or it looks like it might be Norwegian. Uh, due to that flag on the back. Looks like a Norwegian flag. Um, good. Nice Norwegian build here. Good. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what else to say about it. We've we've just got a duck. That's that's it. That's, I guess that's all you really need to say, to be honest. But let's go ahead and get it onto the beach. Here we go. And we're just gonna ramp it on. There we go. And now we can drive. Off we go. Excellent. Water build. Water build. Alright, okay. We're gonna move on to the next creation now. I think we've had enough of the duck. Not gonna lie. Okie dokie, I do believe this is our final creation, and it's actually called the Whitehall Rowing Skiff. Uh, and honestly, it, it looks pretty good. Honestly, it does. It looks really good. So, row is going to go here. We're going to sit in our little seat. Apparently, there are no propellers. It does fully work on the uh, the rowing, which is good. We can raise the oars if we need to. And, uh, yeah, we can just keep rowing. So, turn. There we go. Excellent. And go back to the middle if we can. I hate this. I hate middling these things. There. Okay, cool. So, essentially, this works by having runners on the end of some poles. The poles do go through each other, which is kind of strange, but it works. It drives. That's it. That's that. I mean, that's that's all we needed. Uh, on here, we actually have flares. We have fly guns. We also have a radio, a compass, a strobe light, and a flashlight. And that's all you really need. Fly gun. Boo! There we go. Nice. All right, we're all lit up. In the night, the night sky. I mean the uh, the flare sky, and uh, yeah, it works. Not really too much to do with this one. I'm not gonna lie, but let's see what this does. Let's see what the razors function does. Just lifts them up out of the water and leaves them there. What happens if I do this? Oh, they get stuck. That's pretty weird. <laughs> that's really weird. But yeah. I guess that's that's it. That's all I really need to do with this thing. There's not much else that it does do. I think it is pretty cool though the way that it works. There are no propellers. It just it just floats and sails along with these these oars, which is nice. We also have a bunch of rope here just in case you need it for whatever reason. Pretty cool. Nice. Well, anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. If you guys liked any of the creations in this video, let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. And also, in the description down below, you guys will actually be able to find the links to all of the creations I've used. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Wait, actually, I don't think that's fair. Uh, this is like extra content, I know. But we're going to go ahead and actually just raise the wave level, the wind level to 100, and see how it deals with that. I think we will still move forwards, but it'll just have a hard time. Oh no, it's 100% wind against this thing. Bad idea. There you go.